All right, what is up? Welcome back to another video. This one's gonna be a fast one. I just something I kind of wanted to touch on before I kind of get into it in a future video. But I just got this in the mail. It's the Dune Exposures photo book. And I wanna do a full review on it because so many reasons, but I've just kind of been thumbing through it and it's fantastic. And there's one thing in particular that I just want to draw attention to, and that is a photo in it. And it's actually one of like the last photos in the book. So there's, there's some value to it, but it is this photo here. And you can see that the photographer pictured here is holding, and I, I, I noticed these things. You probably won't notice it because you have, you know, a social life, friends and family. I have those things, but I also have an unhealthy obsession with film cameras. As you can see, the camera that he has here is an OM-10. This is a camera that I've made no bones about not liking very much. I think that the manual speed adapter connected to the top of it is stupid and feels clunky. I think the camera overall feels very cheap and plastic. I think that the post in which the um, <clears throat> mode selection dial sits is a terrible design and uh, degrades after time. But regardless of that, there was a person taking photos in this book with that camera. And that to be said, your camera does not matter. Uh, whatever camera that you have, if you know how to use it, that's all that matters. It doesn't matter if you have a Leica or if you have a Kiev, you have a Fed or you have a Hasselblad. It doesn't matter what you have. It just matters how you apply the tools that you have. And it even matters more so what film you have, what lenses you have, stuff like that. But the camera itself, like so long as the shutter works, you're good. Like that's like, that's all that it really matters ultimately. So I recorded that bit last night when I first got the book and I was thumbing through it and I just saw that picture and thought, oh, this is a good point to make. Then I read it a little bit more uh, and I wanted to kind of read that out now because I think really ultimately what this does is further emphasizes my point. So the great photographer Robert Kappa said, if your pictures aren't good enough, you aren't close enough. And such is the mentality of Greg Frazier, our DP. There was an added benefit of being the director of photography, which enabled him to already be close, asking us how our night was, how our night or day was, and if we knew any restaurants in the area that were good to visit because his family just got into town. Blah, 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 blah. It felt like it was a part of his job, like holding a light meter to your face, click, eight inches away, and there you go again. One day it was with a camera he bought at a flea market somewhere in Budapest. On another day it would be a, another camera he'd found on the boardwalk along Venice Beach before he left. Always film. There's something about perpetually staying on top of understanding how light behaves with film and how that can morph a face into a behavior. How the photographer's job is not only to capture a moment, but to fill the moment with his perspective, his chosen composition, and ultimately his taste of that momentary world of light. As it becomes more personal, light touches, light begins to have a personality that you project onto the image you're creating. Light starts to speak with you and asks you how you would like for it to sit upon your subject. And the greatest photographers know, as all that is going on, that to wake up your eyes to instigate a dialogue is key to the final image so that it's not left dead and without a voice. Blah, 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 blah. All that while lighting one of the biggest budgeted films of the year. So portion of that I kind of want to touch on and that was the one day it'd be with the Camry found in Budapest the other day Venice Beach whatever that's kind of the the larger point that I was trying to make initially was your camera that you choose to shoot with does not really matter that much so long as you know how to use it you know how to control the subject the lighting how you want the image to come out if you have an understanding of the tools in your tool chest that's all that matters. You can shoot great shots with an OM-10. You can shoot great shots with a Leica. You can shoot bad shots with a Leica and you can shoot bad shots with an OM-10. The vessel for your photography almost doesn't matter as much as you, the photographer, your subject, and what you choose to expose. I think that is a very true sentiment. I think it's especially true with film because the film itself is, that is the sensor. That is, that is more imperative 
the quality of film you're shooting on than the camera. There's obviously going to be, and I've talked about this before, but there's going to be intrinsic value to shooting with a certain system because the advance feels good, the construction is solid, you feel confident in it, you can take it in a certain environment, whether that's you know rain or a desert, if it's weather sealed, if it's not. Like all of those factors are gonna to contribute to the photos that you can take ultimately, but for the most part, the film camera itself does not matter as much as the lens does, it doesn't matter as much as your film does, and it especially does not matter as much as the photographer does. So for all the times I've come on here and said like, ah, if you shoot with this camera, you're a fool, because I don't like it. Like, don't listen to me, like really don't. Um, I have opinions that are based upon previous experiences repairing things, previous experiences shooting with them myself, and all of that is null and void if you like what you use, so. I just thought that was interesting. I, again, want to kind of discuss this book uh, at a later date because I think it's phenomenal. I love the idea behind it, and I think uh, great things of Greg Frazier, the cinematographer. He also shot a film called uh, Killing Them Softly, which is incredibly underrated, I think. Uh, the Dune series is uh, visually evocative. It is amazing, and I'd like to talk about it more in this book. I think kind of encapsulates a lot of the details that I want to touch on, so I'm very, very fortunate to have it. And I also have a beautiful coffee table that I can present this on, so I'm very stoked about that. But all that to be said, um, I just saw that and was like, this is great. This is a great thing to talk about. Wanted to make a quick video to go over it. So thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it as always. Make sure to try to pick up a copy of that if you can. They're pretty much sold out everywhere, but definitely worth trying to grab. Go buy an OM-10. Actually, that's terrible advice. Don't buy an OM-10. Buy a cheap camera and just shoot with it for fun. You never know what will come of it. But yeah, that's all. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it as always. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you on the next one. Yeah, no, no.